We start with some heavy remarks coming from South Korea's biggest ally, the United States. The man next in line to lead American troops stationed in Korea says the U.S. needs to continue providing a nuclear umbrella to South Korea. He also rejected claims made by Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner in the race for the White House, saying Trump has got his math wrong on an important issue. Kim Hyun Bin reports. The incoming commander of U.S. Forces Korea has stressed the importance of South Korea being covered by the U.S. nuclear umbrella. Speaking at his Senate confirmation hearing in Washington on Tuesday, General Vincent Brooks said his removal could make Seoul contemplate its own nuclear armament in the face of threats posed by North Korea. He added that he could not see a time in the foreseeable future when the U.S. could or would remove it. The general also stressed that South Korea is shouldering a significant load of the cost for keeping the roughly 29,000 U.S. troops stationed in the country. He rejected Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump's Updated. claims that Seoul we contributes so next to nothing to compared to what it gets in return. Brooks noted that South Korea paid some 880 million U.S. dollars last year, and the share goes up according to inflation every year. As well as paying around half of the total cost of stationing troops, the general says South Korea is paying more than 90 percent of the $10.8 billion to relocate U.S. troops to a massive new base in Pyeongtaek, south of Seoul. Brooks also emphasized the need for a U.S. missile defense system known as THAAD to be deployed to the Korean Peninsula to protect the South from North Korea's growing ballistic missile threats. If confirmed, Brooks will replace General Curtis Scafferati as U.S. Forces Korea commander. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.